Okay, we are live, it looks like, and we'll see if we've got the audio situation straightened out here. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Testing one, two, or checking things out. There's a little bit of a pregame show here. Okay, we are live, it looks like. Sounds good, sounds good, and the topic is Rolex and beautiful girls. Hey, what do you think about that? Do they go together? Oh, we look like we're a little overexposed there. You can go play with the exposure real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I had it at f1.8, <laughs> f1.8 instead of f2.8, folks. That will do the trick. That will overexpose you. So we're a little bit early. Carlos is in the house. Carlos is in the house. Got a little pregame show. This is an emergency broadcast, and if we are early. Uh, our normal start time is 5 o'clock Eastern time. This is an emergency broadcast. We're starting earlier today. We have an important topic and that's Rolex watches and Rolex and other high-end watches. I mean, let's face it, a Grand Seiko, Patek Philippe, a uh, high-end Omega, and then there's some ugly watches. By the way, I commented on this, uh, this one here. Look, check it out. I commented on this posting here. Every collection needs a Rolex, right? And he's got the, the uh, Cosmograph in there, the Daytona. And, and then I commented, I said, I would sell all those watches. <laughs> I straight up said, I would sell all of them, right? And uh, he responded, God bless him. He responded, he said, <coughs> excuse me, mm. and what would you buy? I'm going to drink. I think I always, my throat always gets dry here. And what would you buy? <clears throat> he said. And I said, um, a Grand Seiko SBGA 231 and then I would actually wear it and then he said um, so you would get I think he meant rid of he said rid of you would get rid of a lot of cool horology and only replace it with one watch and I responded correct I don't wear ugly watches <laughs> and then somebody threw a reply in there well good thing I'm not asking you to wear my ugly watches <laughs> But we live about an hour away from each other. If you ever wanted to see them in person, while they may not be your taste, I think you would find the horology interesting. Well, you know, here's the thing. I mean, if I'm not going to wear a watch, I have no interest in buying it. I, I, you know, it's a wristwatch. I buy it to have it on my wrist. I'm not going to buy it because it's got some kind of a history or because some designer designed it or because it's popular or whatever. I'm going to buy it to put it on my wrist and actually wear. So that's the strange thing here going on. And then here's uh, the Grand Seiko GMT. There's the official time check. It looks like the focus is a little bit soft on that. Let me go focus that a little bit better, see if I can get it focused a little better. Stand by. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, that's a little bit sharper on the Grand Seiko. I, so, I focused on the Grand Seiko. And even the Japan down at the bottom is, is pretty good now. Pretty crisp. Pretty crisp. That's what we got to tell Steve to do when he does his live shows. Make sure he gets that focus right because that can be critical. Let me refresh here and see what we've got in the comments. We've only got Carlos in the house. We've got four people watching, so it's a, it's a lean Sunday on the viewers. We are five minutes before the official start of showtime. So let's see if some more folks come in. And while we're waiting, I've got the uh, timeless razor here. I don't know if any of you all use the double-edged razors to do your shaving, but this timeless is really well made. I really like it. I like the heft to it. And... Um, I've been getting great shaves with it lately. So 
it's been a couple months now I've been using a double edge instead of the throwaway type plasticky blades uh, and I do I do like this and you save a ton of money the blades are, are dirt cheap so I do like it timeless razor I think that it was a Lang zit work in that collection it is an interesting watch there you go yeah like I said though I wouldn't um, I wouldn't wear any I wouldn't buy anything that I wouldn't wear on my wrist so and those there's none of them there that I would actually wear let's enlarge that picture and see I wouldn't even wear the the Rolex there the the Cosmograph just because it, it's not that legible for me and and Carlos had the same issue with his and a lot of those other watches are a lot less legible than that I mean look at some of those watches some of those skeletonized watches you, you can't hardly tell even where the hands are they're just a cluster you know what um, so I would absolutely pass take a full pass on all of those pieces right there let me know in the chat if any of you all would um, would buy those pieces and actually wear them I've never seen anybody in person actually wearing one of those things I've never even seen anybody wearing a uh, Daytona in person uh, maybe years ago I saw Paul Newman wearing his uh, maybe I should pull up that price that photograph of Paul Newman wearing his Daytona I have a photo of that let me know if you want to see that the left one is nice um, all the way on the left top upper left yeah I don't know yeah I would pass on that so um, this is also officially another bag stream another bag stream we are getting close on Brianna to the hundred subscriber mark Let, I'm gonna refresh live here when we last spoke she was at 66 subscribers and I'm gonna reload here and you'll see in real time what she's at now so she is at 83 subscribers 83 subscribers we've got to get her to a hundred folks we've got to get her to a hundred we're within 17 if my math is correct of getting her to 100 so folks if you can go to briefitdance.com and please subscribe I'll go ahead and put the link in the chat here just so uh, those watching now or later can uh, can easily click on the link brief it dance give me a moment here this is still officially the pregame show so no big deal brief it dance dot com and send it so there you go David's in the house I think he's already subscribing to the to the Brewster Brianna and um, by the way we had a fantastic photo session uh, yesterday and we went to the um, Catoctin Mountain Orchard good friend of mine Robert Black owns the orchard and it's a beautiful place and they have a hayride uh, they take you in the tractor up to the uh, up the mountain the ways and and you pick your own apples so we got a nice big bag of apples and uh, Brianna Brianna and her mom picked them so uh, so that went well yesterday I, I mean I should go for the max as my only camera go for the max wait what are you talking about regarding the iPhone 11 Pro would you go for the max as only camera oh you mean the bigger one I'd get either iPhone 11 Pro. The size doesn't matter because they have, I think they have the same camera. Uh, I don't know that having that bigger screen is going to... I mean, it depends. I mean, I, I don't like carrying the one with the really big screen. This is the one I'm carrying. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a preference on... If you if you enjoy carrying the bigger phone, then yes, that bigger screen would be would come in handy. For a lot of things but I just don't want to carry a phone that big all the time so um, okay so let's go uh, back uh, I am writing from the UK would you have voted Brexit Craig oh sure I'm not a big bureaucracy guy I, I, I don't think you know I think they should do their own thing especially since Europe doesn't seem to be they don't seem to be running that place very well so how can they run 
the UK effectively. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think the smaller, you know, govern locally because the, that's why I'm a fan. I would be a fan of states' rights here in the United States, having the states have a lot more rights because then you can vote with your feet, right? If you don't like the way Virginia's doing things, you go to Maryland. It's different. But when the feds are regulating everything, you can't do that. You don't have any power anymore. So, um, so anyway, let's take a look at a few of the photos of Brianna that we shot yesterday in the photo shoot. And we're asking, this is a big stream today. We're trying to get her 17 more subscribers. She's at uh, 80, let's bring it back up here again. She's at 83 subscribers right now. And we got to get her up to 100. That's what we're trying to do. So let's take a look at a few of the photos real quick from yesterday's photo shoot. Um, because part of the theme of this show is 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 beautiful beautiful girls, right? Beautiful girls, I think, go along with high end watches. I think they do, and I think that uh, it's also important to promote fitness and good health. And that's what Brianna's going to do on her channel. She's going to promote fitness and a healthy lifestyle, exercise, and you know these photos are not this. This is her natural, hundred percent natural figure okay 100 percent natural no plastic surgeons have touched her she's just the way she is and so if you take care of yourself and you eat right and you exercise a girl can be in great shape you know a lot of people these days that say oh it's unrealistic you know these these models and and they 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 they, they give an unrealistic uh impression upon girls that they can't really look like that so they should just go to mcdonald's and eat whatever they want and it doesn't matter because you know they're never going to look they're never going to look like these supermodels right well here's a young lady that i think pretty much looks like a supermodel look at the photo it speaks for itself and I didn't do anything to enhance her. That's that's her. That's her natural curves. I didn't do anything to, to help her out, uh, you know, in the Lightroom. I don't even use Lightroom. I just use the Photos app. So, um, yeah, I think I think that's a good thing for her to promote health, uh, taking care of yourself, exercising. And um, I think the world would be a better place. Two-thirds of Americans, I think the latest stat, maybe it's 66%. I don't know what it is. Is it 66%? That's two-thirds, right? I, I don't know. I, I heard pretty high numbers of Americans that are obese. Obese. Because they're not taking care of themselves. They're not paying attention to what goes into their body, and they're not paying attention to how much they sit every day and all this. Apple's trying to help out with the Apple Watch on that. But um, it's a big problem. So I'm, I, I support uh, Brianna's mission, and I think she should keep at it. And I'm going to help her out. I'm going to help her build her brand. You guys can help by going to briefitdance.com and subscribing to her channel. Okay? We just need another, uh, let's see, 13, 17, 17 subscribers to get to 100. So that will help if we can do that. If you guys can help out, I know some of you already have gone and subscribed. The There's her mom, by the way. Her mom's also stunning. So see, she takes care of herself. She, you know, so you, you can be, you know, you can be 40 years old and be a female and still be attractive. Imagine that. You don't have to eat donuts all the time and be like overweight and all that stuff. You can take care of yourself. Right? I think you can. Oh, there we are. We went to Hoffman's Market, and we got two subs. We got a um, roast beef sub. And by the way, I don't eat these every day. This isn't exactly health food. This is just a treat if you want to treat yourself. So we got the roast beef sub is in her left hand, okay? And in her right hand is the cold cut sub. And let me tell you something. Those were fantastic. They were fantastic. Hoffman's, Hoffman's Market right here in beautiful downtown Thurmont. So that's how we roll. And, uh, oh, by the way, here she is doing a push-up. You want to you see, um, put a comment in the chat if you want to see Brianna doing a push-up. Doing a push-up. Now, I will warn those of you that are sensitive to this sort of thing that it is a little bit revealing. It's a little bit revealing. 
uh, but it wasn't on purpose. We weren't trying to, you know, show a lot. It just happened to be when she did her push-up that just happened to be this the way it was, right? So um, let me know if you want to see that photo and if it will not offend uh, somebody. Um, we'll go ahead and show that photo live here on the show. And, yes, she is into watches. Yes, she is. And she she loves my Grand Seiko. Matter of fact, that's one of the ways we met. She was she was uh, hypnotized by the Grand Seiko. You know, if you let an, an attractive female look at that spring drive, look at that second hand going around, they get just kind of mesmerized. And then and then what happens is they start they start putting their hands on you. You know, you can't really control them at that point. They get very affectionate, and um, it's because of the. Uh, the Grand Seiko spring drive. Let me show you a close-up on that. Let me get this razor out of the way here. Let me show you a close-up. Now, I've not cleaned it. It's dusty. It's dirty. It's all of those things. So I didn't have time to clean it before the show. So um, t there's going to be people that are going to put comments in there in the chat about that. Uh, Carlos says, uh, yes, please, Craig, um, the hypno hip hypnotist. Okay, there's the photo. She was doing a push-up, and um, she, she actually, you know, had her back nice and straight, and she was doing actual real push-ups. So, um, so that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So any of you all that are watching, if you can go to briefitdance.com, this is a marathon show. We're talking about watches, and we're also going to talk about getting Brianna the subscribers that she needs to get her own custom URL. And we also talked about these watches here, which I said, I made a comment. I said, I said, I would just sell them all. <laughs> I would sell them all. There's not a watch there that I would wear. The Cosmograft is the closest, the Daytona, but I wouldn't wear that because it's not legible enough. I don't need all that stuff on the dial. I, I'm not going to use that stopwatch function. Most people don't, I think, that get those, by the way. And then you can't read them and so forth. Screen capture. Uh, you don't have to do a screen capture on that. Just go to my um, Flickr photos. Go to my website. Click on Photos. Click on the link to my Flickr. There's the whole photo set there. You can download the full-size originals. You don't have to do a screen grab. Um, let's see. Your table looks like a a Boeing cockpit. Yeah, it does have a lot of uh, go, a lot going on here. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, and a lot of it you can't even see in that shot. There's a lot going on here. Um, so yeah, we'll show that that comment. That nothing wrong with that comment. Uh, Brianna or Ashley? Close close call. Ashley. Which one is Ashley? Um, I'd sell all those watches, get a gold Rolex Stunner and a GS Snowflake and a place down in Florida. There you go. Absolutely, positively. Yeah. That, see, there's somebody making sense. And you'd probably wear the watches. Here's the ones he said he would sell. Just sell them. Sell all those. I mean, look at those watches. Think about it, seriously. Think about it. Is, is there a watch there that you would really wear every day that it would be your first choice? You know, obviously with this person, money's no object, right? They got a lot of money in watches right there, right? So if you had if you had a choice for a watch to wear every day, would it be one of those? I think for most of us, if, if, if you honestly answered that question, most of us would say no. Most people with decent eyes would probably say, I'll just get a day date and call it a day. I'll just get a Rolex day date either a 36 or a 40, and wear it and call it a day, right? If I wanted to rotate a steel stunner in with that, I'd rotate in like a Batgirl or a Pepsi and be done with the, the issue, right? Be done with the issue and have two stunning-looking watches. If I wanted more accuracy, I'd have to step into a spring drive. I'd have no choice, right? I can't go Rolex at that point. i got to go, if I want more accuracy, i got to go to the spring drive. That's where we're going to get that. Look at that stunning bracelet, too.
So, but it probably wouldn't be any of those watches there. It would probably, if you're going to be honest with yourself, if you're buying a watch to actually wear and use, it probably wouldn't be one of those watches. Um, you could easily get Florida condo money from that Richard Milley watch. Remember why the clowns, I mean rappers, say Richard Milley cost a Lamborghini. Um, all right, so let's look and see if we picked up any subscribers at all. Are you all helping out at all? Anybody there that has not already subscribed, please, please do so. Let's refresh your page here. Are we still stuck at 83? Oh, here it's refreshing. 84. We picked up one. Oh, geez. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we picked up one. Come on. We can do better than that. Come on. Okay. So so let me know if you want to see some more photos of Brianna, the lovely Brianna. And this, this, the topic of this show is watches and beautiful girls. Do they go together? And, you know, you might add into that nice car, nice house, a place in Florida, you know, nice clothes. Do all these things go together? Does it make sense? And by the way, for all you collectors out there, collectors, people that are collecting things, I would strongly urge you, and this is not financial advice, this is just personal advice that, that I do and that I think is a good idea, I'm not telling you to do it, but uh, collect collect Bitcoin the price is down below eight thousand dollars and it may go lower I, I was predicting around seven thousand by the way you know when it was up in, at ten thousand I was saying I think it was going to pull back to around seven thousand Bitcoin is on sale right now for seventy eight hundred and seventy seven dollars now will it go lower yes it probably will but we don't know where the bottom is some people are saying it's going to go to zero. I doubt that, seriously, but some people are saying it's going to go to zero. But the point is, if you're a no-coiner, if you don't have any Bitcoin at all, it's possible that this could be the last opportunity here in the next month or so or whatever, however long we stay below 10000 This could be your last opportunity to buy Bitcoin under ten grand. It's very possible. I'm not saying it's likely but it's certainly very possible so those of you that are no coiners that have no bitcoin uh, this could be your last chance to uh, to make a move to make a move you can see right there it's uh, right now seventy eight hundred and seventy eight dollars okay and trading right now so there you go um, and don't say I didn't, you know, point that out to you and that you missed out because I've been pointing it out to you. I was talking about it on my channel when it was down around 3,000. 30, I think 3,200 was the low. I think that's where it got down to, around, around 3,200. I was telling people right then. As a matter of fact, when it went back up to around 4,000, I bought one live on the show. I bought a Bitcoin for 4,000 just to demonstrate how it was done, just to show people how, how you know, easy it is to do on Coinbase. I, I sold that particular Bitcoin at 8,500 um, because it was just one that I was buying just for fun. Uh, so I did that. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to be helpful to the no-coiners out there. If you are a screaming bogan in the Brisbane area, the two don't go. Okay. Audrey, not Ashley. Audrey. Okay. Okay. So, okay, let's, let's do a vote here. Okay. You all know Audrey. Okay. You're, you're all familiar with Audrey. Okay. Put an A in the chat if you prefer Audrey. And put a B in the chat if you prefer Brianna. Brianna. Okay, A for Audrey, B for Brianna. Most of you all know who Audrey is, I'm assuming. If you don't, I can show a photo of Audrey. Okay, let me, let me do this. Let me pull up a photo of Audrey in the other browser here. And, and so that we can do a, we can do a fair, fair comparison here. This is a good point. This is a good point. That's a very good point to bring up. 
because they're both very fit, very athletic. Um, and so what we'll do, tell you what we'll do. I'm going to actually pull up a photo of, of me and Audrey together, the lovely Audrey. Okay, just so you know who Audrey is. And you've probably seen other photos of her, and I do have better photos. We could make this a fair fight. I could show one of the better photos of Audrey. But anyway, that, that's Audrey, so you probably know who she is at this point, right? So put an A in there. Um, a for Audrey. There's Audrey. And a B for Brianna. Okay? B for Brianna. And I can tell you right now they're both fantastic, fantastic stunners, stunners. And they're both a lot of fun. As far as the, on the fun scale, they're both a lot of fun. So there you go. And now, while you're doing that, folks, I want you to go to BriefFitDance.com, BriefFitDance.com, and please subscribe to her channel. Let me pull up this... Uh, pull up the uh, the photo with her brief at dance.com on it okay here's one with brief at dance.com on it overlaid on it so brief at dance.com and click through to her YouTube channel there's a big YouTube icon on there and um, let's do that let's get her up to a hundred subscribers um, well you look Tr traumatizing. I look traumatizing? Let me see. I didn't think I looked that bad. Well, I never smile that great. So, yeah. I Yeah, I, that's why I'm usually behind the camera, folks. <laughs> I'm usually behind the camera. So, there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, see, Miss Marilyn. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, Christina Denny you're talking about yes but she's a married woman so there's that issue um, you can't force me to make such choices <laughs> okay B just because she looks younger super close though there you go Kyle in the house um, B if I cannot vote for Miss Marilyn okay can I choose C for Chip uh oh that's getting a little bit a little bit weird um, D D double D <laughs> jeez Come on, guys, let's <laughs> let's be let's be a little bit civil. Um, B because Latina women do it better. There you go. I can tell you they're both fantastic. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Both both perform as well as a spring drive, which is to say, perfect. Um, a A for Audrey. She's fantastic. Okay, so let's go here. Let's see if we picked up any more subscribers at all. Because I really want to get it, get this conversation going over to 100% watches here, folks. But, uh, but this is a big stream. Oh, we're still at 84. Come on. What the hell, folks? We're at 84 sub subs. There's 26 people watching here. There's got to be 16 people of the 26 that have not subscribed yet. There's got to be 16. So please take your time and go there and subscribe to her channel, please. The, the link is in the description of this video. I put it in the chat earlier, but um, Steve says sorry. Art says A. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know what else I can do to get you guys to to go and subscribe to her channel. I, yeah, I'm I'm begging here, folks. And let's get a few more comments though <laughs> before we move on. Let's get a few more comments on this this kit here. Which of those watches would actually be your daily wear watch and tell me why? Tell me wh which one of those watches would actually be your daily wear and tell me what your rationale is cuz I don't get it. Uh, under no circumstances would any of those watches be my daily wear. And the only reason I'm saying that with regard to the Daytona is I can't read that real well. It's just not that legible in real life use case scenario with somebody with eyes of my age. 
So, so that's the only reason why I poo-poo that one because they are relatively thin on wrist. They are, a, 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 you know, they sit on the wrist very nicely. Uh, but the, the dial with those three subdials and all that, it just makes it less legible. And I don't need something that's less legible. So that's my rationale. Let me know if you guys would actually wear one of those watches and why. Um, let me refresh this here because we're not we're not getting much action here, folks. Um, okay, so let's do this. Uh, Daytona because it's Rolex and therefore very durable. Well, of all those watches, absolutely, that would be the only one I would wear. But again, the legibility issue becomes an, a, a problem for me. If I subscribe to this beautiful young woman's channel, my wife would be asking questions. Just tell her that you did it as a favor for me. Steve, I mean, come on. You do, do it. Say you do it as a favor. Tell you what, if you subscribe and, and wait a week or two and then unsubscribe, that's okay. Just We just got to get it to 100 so that then we can get a custom URL for her and then we can move on. Now, you don't have to stay subscribed. It's just we just need to get it to 100 so we can do that. Uh, let's see. I'd choose the Daytona because it's the most durable and wearable among the bunch. Yeah, it's the only one among the bunch that I think would be wearable. The Zenith D5 probably because it's the hardest built and cheaper of the lot. Okay. None of the above, I'm afraid, must look like something you get with a McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> Jeez. I agree. I, my, my comment, as I said, was I'd sell them all. I, I straight up commented on that. Did you see my comment? Here we go. Let me see if I can pull up my comment here. Um, and I want to leave it in this view mode here, and let's go to my comment. Um, you think I didn't say that, right? You think I didn't do it? Well, let's see here if I can find my comment. Um, uh, it's down here. So here it is. Okay. I would sell. I would sell all of those. You see that? Oh, I'm not showing it. There you go. Okay. I would sell all of those. There's my comment. <laughs> I straight up put it in there, folks. You know, it's not, you know, it's no big deal. I'm not going to go along with the program with these people acting like these ugly watches are all that in a bag of chips. I mean, you know, that's like saying an ugly woman is all that in a bag of chips. I mean, she may be your cup of tea, but that doesn't make her attractive. I mean, there are standards, folks. There are standards. And, you know, if if you want attractive, you you, you get you get attractive. I mean that's what you want right if, if that's what you want with a watch it's the same thing there's there's beautiful and stunning and then there's not so beautiful and not so stunning it's it's and it's it, you know and I don't want to hear people saying well that's your opinion you know your opinion da, 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 da. you know there was I was watching a movie one time and there was a stunning actress she looked a lot like Bran on the screen right now that kind of figure, just just freaking dynamite, right? And um, she was the, the the script called for her to seduce this guy, and the one of the her handlers or whatever said, "Well, you know, well, what happens if if um, if you're not his type? In other words, you if you're not able to seduce him." And and she looked at him and she said, "I'm every guy's type." <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> so so that's how that works, okay? <laughs> when they look like that, they're every guy's type. <laughs> and if a guy says that's not my type, he's lying, okay? He's he's absolutely lying. And, and as far as these ugly watches go, <laughs> there are ugly watches and then there are good looking stunning watches. And that's not my opinion. It's just the way it goes. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about what I just said? Come on. Put comments in the chat. Let me know what you think. Um, okay, no, uh, okay. Craig, can you do a show on scam Kickstarter watch brands like MVMT, Daniel Wellington, <laughs> $200 for $10 watches? 
People should just get a Seiko. I hear you. That red rich ammonia is is horrendously ugly. (laughs) And can you imagine people paying a lot of money for a watch like that? Talk about having more money than sense. You would sell the the Patek Chrono. I mean, what do you smoke? Okay. So here's the deal. Every one of those watches, the IWC in the bottom right-hand corner, it's kind of classy looking for a dress watch, but I don't... I mean, there are a lot of other choices that I would make first, is all I'm saying. There's none of those watches that, that I would... And the Patek is busy. I mean, I can't read that thing. I can't even tell where the hands are pointed. You know, I can kind of tell that the that the men at hands pointed towards the 50. But, I mean, it, it it's too busy. No, I wouldn't wear that watch. I'd get a nice Calatrava or something, something with a simpler dial, something legible. And I'd certainly get yellow gold. I'd certainly get it in yellow gold. Yeah, no, it's not a question of what I'm smoking. I'm making logical, well thought out. I'm making the correct choice. Um, let's see here. Um, Craig is acting like a creeper now. If I was her, I would be worried. Brianna, run. So see, this is what gets this guy blocked, okay? Because that's a, a very nasty, hateful comment. I'm helping the girl out, and she likes working with me and likes spending a lot of time with me, and, she, and, and he's going to try to cause trouble, right? So what we'll do is we'll block him. We're going to block this guy. Let's see. Hide user on this channel. There we go. Bam hidden just like that so we get rid of people that are troublemakers and so we don't have as many viewers as some of the other channels that allow troublemakers um so we will go ahead and get rid of him um let's see 15 years ago when i was wearing formal most of the time and had better sight that lang zet work would be great but neither then or now I would spend that amount of money on a watch, 60 to 100K. Well, especially when you can get a date eight for a fraction of that, and it's stunning. It looks better than any of those watches. A date eight 36 or a date eight 40, either one. And if you want to be under the radar, go white gold like Carlos did. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, I would go yellow gold personally. But, I mean, it would, it's just, it's just, head and shoulders a better looking watch than these these conglomerations on the screen yeah no 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 so there you go um i agree the iwc is the most aesthetic yeah well and and here's the thing don't aesthetics matter aren't we wearing this as a part of our attire you know doesn't it matter what the watch looks like Get, judging from that picture, I guess a lot of people think it doesn't matter what the watch looks like. The watch can look like crap. I mean, look at that one with the blue. Look at that blue case, the skeletonized unit with the with the white strap on it. I mean, that does look like something you get from a, a Cracker Jack, Jack box. I mean, that looks horrendous. The one to the right of it doesn't look much better. And we already pointed out the, the Richard Milley up above that, the red one, is just horrendous. The one to the right of that is horrendous. They're just a bunch of ugly watches. I don't know. This guy just just wants to collect horrendous-looking watches. There's not even a close call here, folks. Um, like I said, folks, sell the lot, get a gold stunner Rolex and a GS Snowflake and a place down in Florida. There you go. Or maybe get yourself a, uh, a Prevo motor coach. What do you think about that? A Prevo motor coach. Um, oh, so Carlos, you you unhid? Um, he was timed out. Um, okay. So... Are we going to try to get... You want to try to give this guy another chance? I don't think we should give this guy another chance. I think he's a troll. Um, So, anyway. That's the way that goes. 
We have zero tolerance on this channel for trolls, okay? Zero tolerance. Especially when we're trying to do something positive, we're trying to help a young lady out. We're trying to help her get to 100, 100 subs so she can get a custom URL on her YouTube channel so she can continue to build um, his, her brand, right? And then we've got jerks coming in here trying to cause trouble, trying to cause trouble. So briefitdance.com. Let me show you one more time. Let's, let's go to the photo that has her URL on it. There we go. Briefitdance.com. We need to get some more subs so we can get her to the 100. That's all we're trying to do here. This is not complicated, folks. Not complicated stuff. And let's see what she's at right now. Eighty-five. She said 85. We need 15 more. We need 15 more, folks. Is that a lot to ask? I mean, really, come on. Is that a lot to ask? Just 15 more subs. Briefitdance.com. Uh, that's just a collection of confusion trying to impress others. When you buy a GS, you're just impressing yourself. Or if you get a, a, a Rolex, if you get a, um, a practical Rolex, like a Datejust 36, um, first of all, any steel Rolex, and we've talked about this before on the channel, is not going to impress other people. You can forget about that because they don't even know or care. And if they do know that it's a steel Rolex, it's still not going to impress them that much. It might impress another Rolex person, right? But in general, it's not going to impress them. Now, you roll in wearing a, a Date 8 and 18 karat yellow gold, that's going to impress them. It may or may not be a positive impression. They might think you're a jerk, but it's certainly going to give an impression. And if you're well-dressed and all that and, and otherwise carry yourself properly, it, it'll probably be a positive impression because it's a really classy eat-up-with-class watch. Um, so, sorry, Craig. I left my common sense in the safety <laughs> deposit box along with that stainless investment Rolex. <laughs> Oh, boy, that's a possibility. <laughs> that's a possibility. Anyway, we need some more subs for Brianna. I promise you, folks, I'm not going to pester you on this again. I'm not, I really am not if we can just get this done. If we can get her to the 100 subs. We've got 33 people watching now. There's got to be 15, half of them have to have not subscribed to her. We just need 15 people. I'm going to reload here and see if there's any new comments. Share this video. Okay. Oh, no, that's the wrong video. I'm sorry. Um, I promise you, folks. Okay, there we go. All right. So, yeah, I mean, w w what do you think, folks? Let me know in the chat what in the heck is going on here that people aren't willing to just click through and give this young lady a quick subscription just subscribe to her youtube channel what's the big deal and that you know the, these other big streams people are begging they're giving them 10 20 bucks 50 dollars i saw somebody give archie a 50 dollar super chat the other day and i'm not asking for any money i'm just asking for a few seconds of your time literally seconds it, it will take to click through to her YouTube channel. You go to briefitdance.com. Right there, you go to briefitdance.com and click on the YouTube icon. Right below her picture, there's a YouTube icon. And just click subscribe. What's the big deal here, folks? What is the big deal? Okay, you convinced me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link in the chat again here. For those of you that don't want to type it in or otherwise go to it. So I'm going to put it in the chat again. Briefitdance.com. You know, what's really sad these days is, you know, you're trying to help somebody out. And I help people all the time. I go out of my way to help people, right? And then there's some jerk that thinks you've got some ulterior motive, right? That you, you know, you're trying to do somebody harm or something or, you know, I, I, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. I don't understand. I just don't understand. I think it's good to help people anytime you can. Now, if it's an extremely attractive young woman, and that's a benefit, and that's good, I mean, that's I, I like to hang around extremely attractive females. Why not? What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? Just subbed. Jason said he just subbed. Let's refresh and see where we are. Oh, we're at 92, folks. We're only eight away. We're only eight away now. We are getting close, folks. We're only eight away. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. Steve just subscribed. Message is held for review. Which one is held for review? Um, I don't see it there. Oh, show. Okay, we're going to show that. that. It was Steve's. Okay, why would they hide that? He did what he was supposed to do there, folks. All right. Fantastic. I just sent three new subs. Wow. Carlos, how did you do that? You're that powerful? Wow. Carlos has sway. Oh, by the way, Carlos, um, do you want to call in to the show? Do you, have, do you have anything interesting to share with us? You always have something interesting. Would you like to call into the show? Because I'll get Skype here. I'll get Skype going. And make sure that, um, that we're ready. Okay. All right. There we go. Skype's up. Just in case Carlos wants to call in, we can do that. <coughs> We're getting close, folks. We're at 92 subs. We need eight. We need eight subs to make this happen. Okay, we got another one. Um, let's see where we are now. Let me put Skype to the side a little bit here, just in case Carlos calls. I'll, I'll hear it if he calls. Okay, here we go. Let's refresh this again. Ninety-three. Okay, that's right. We've got seven to go, folks. Seven to go. Come on, seven. We can scare up seven out of thirty-two people watching. And and also, by the way, I didn't have that many comments on this. These watches here. I said I'd sell them all. Okay. Come on, give us some more feedback on that. And Carlos is at the poolside. He was able to get people at the poolside to subscribe. That's powerful. Show us your day date again, Carlos. They want to see the day date at the pool. Can you can you call in from the pool? That would be super cool. That would be super cool if he can Skype in from the poolside. Um, just subbed. Paul Jackson just subbed. Let me refresh and see if that... Whoops. I got to go to the other. I got to go to this tab here. I can't believe this computer will run this many tabs. This, this computer is a 2010 model. Can you imagine how good an Apple computer is? Um, 94. We've got six. We've got, we're six away from where we need to be, and I'll stop pestering you all. I promise you I'll stop pestering you. I would recommend you to view Instagram account watch underscore 1505. I will definitely check that out. Uh, hands down, the best watch collector in the world. All right, let me go there right now. Give me a second here. Let me pull up Instagram so I can run another tab. I got to go through and, and get rid of some of these uh, tabs. Got way too many tabs running. Watch underscore 1505. Let's go there. Underscore 1505. Enter. Okay. And I'm going to follow. All right. I'm following. There it is. There's, uh, there's his... Uh, Fifteen oh five. Now, okay, so I guess that's a platinum day date. 
the one with the smooth bezel. I'm pretty sure that's platinum. And it's, I mean, it is stunning. Okay, Carlos is calling. Give me a second here. Let me grab this. Okay, Carlos, turn on your camera. One second. <laughs> the Carlos in the house. Switch it back until he gets his camera going here. He'll get the camera going. Uh, and at poolside, I hope. I hope you're still at poolside. Hello, Craig. All right, there we go. We we got How are you? Carlos. Uh, oh, did you go inside? I thought you were going to be at the pool. Uh, no, I but well, I, I I just woke up for <laughs> for my nap. Uh, we had a barbecue. Okay. Uh, we used to have a barbecue on Sundays. Okay. Um, yeah, and and I I went into the pool before, but not now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, but you're you're on your phone, and what watch yeah. what watch were you wearing when you do you wear a watch when you're napping? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Me... Oh, you're wearing the day date still. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, look the at the pool. pool. Look at the pool. pool. Look at the pool in the background. There you go. Absolutely. And that's a hot tub to the left there? Yeah. J like a jacuzzi yeah, yeah. type hot tub type thing. Yeah. And uh I like the uh pool where you have those stepped those steps going in where it, where it steps down yeah. in the water there so you can sit yeah. on you can sit on different steps at different depths of water. Right and can you see the can you see the lizard that is under the under the 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 sun beds? It's, a, I I will try to go. Oh, I see him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Yeah, it's a basilisk. It's also called Igu the iguana. Yes, lizard is the kind of lizard that runs over the water. Oh, okay. Only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have a family on this tree, mm -hmm. on this tree that lives here. And in fact, we we used to have a monkey fam a family of monkeys here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we did the the swimming pool, the work for the pool, uh, they they went out. And they didn't came back. Okay. Um, now, um, are you connected via the cellular or via Wi-Fi right now? Uh, I have a Wi-Fi here. Yeah, that's why your picture quality is not very good because you're connected via Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Wi-Fi is not very good quality for streaming. So yeah, that's that. It's okay. At least we saw what we you know we saw the layout. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a beautiful spread you you have there. You just wander out and fall into the pool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's something is is one of the good things of Panama that, uh, that basically is the same temperature all the year around, and and you can go into the pool. In fact, I go into the pool every every day. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean because you're in the in the part of Panama that's pretty hot and humid. If you go up in the yeah. mountains, now when you go up mm. in the mountain there. Is it still humid? It's just cooler because you're at a higher elevation, or is it? Do you also have less humidity? Yeah, it, it's cooler. It's cooler, but but it is still a, a very very nice, a very very nice temperature for us. That we are tropicalized and we are used to the heat of Panama. Maybe for us would be a bit cold uh, to go into a pool there. But for sure, for for people that is used to to live in, let's say, a mild weather countries, mm -hmm. it would be great. Yeah, uh, it's it's cooler than here, but but they can have like a, a high temperature of 26, 27 degrees. That is a, a good temperature. Yeah, I heard that it's like 70 to 80, 80 degrees, so it's really kind of a perfect temperature yeah. range up there in the mountain. And it cools off at night, so you can sleep good at night without, you don't, yeah. you don't have to have air conditioning, whereas down, yeah. down where you are, you pretty much have to have air conditioning, right? 
Yeah, I, I used to sleep with air conditioning. Usually not very cold. Mm -hmm. I cannot say the temperature on Fahrenheit, but I usually use the air conditioning at 26 degrees. Yeah. But yes, it's something here. Uh, it's very common that people really put very, very on a extremely low temperature the air mm -hmm. condition. Yeah. All right. Well, that good. Uh, thank you for giving us that little tour. I will let you. I will let you get back to relaxing. I didn't know I was. I was. I was pulling you out of your re relaxation, but uh, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I will. I will let you go and uh, enjoy that day date forty. Okay. That's a beauty. Thank you, thank you Craig. Thank okay. you. Thank you, and keep your great work. Carlos live that's that's how that works he just called right in you can call in too you got a fantastic watch to show call on in we're going to take a look at this Instagram again here give me a second so there you go um, and the the uh, the of all these watches here that are on the screen right now I think the platinum date eight but those, I guess those are Arabic numbers. I guess that's what those are. I, I, I would rather just have the loomed indices uh, if it were me. And, and I do think the platinum day dates are stunning. I mean, they weigh a ton, but I, I think they are stunning. I still would go with yellow gold. Let's go on up here and let's see. Let's go to the next section of all these watches. Yeah, I would pass on all those. Again, busy, and I don't like the uh, super case. Uh, that particular Rolex, it looks like it has a super case on it. Um, yeah, special for the Middle East ADs, yeah. So again, here's a batch of watches that I would pretty much pass on all of them. Somebody's going to say, well, yeah, that complicated Patek, that's fantastic, and all that, the one in the bottom right. It's, yeah, it's okay, but I don't want a busy dial like that. I don't need all those complications. And somebody's going to say, well, the... The, the Audemars and the upper left and all I don't want an integral bracelet I don't want exp ex uh, you know exposed screws on my watch I'm, I'm sorry I want to watch I want to wear an attractive looking watch I don't care how much it's worth I don't care how sought after it is if it doesn't look great I'm going to pass uh, same here pretty much pass on all these the world time is just, is just busy I mean it's just busy and those short hands and all no, I mean, there's a lot of Pateks I would pick over all of these. Every single one of those Pateks on that page, uh, you know, there are others I would pick first before I would pick those. Um, and that that Daytona, again, just busy. And, and remember, what a, photo, what a watch looks like on a um, macro photo is not what it looks like on your wrist half the time. Okay. Uh, so you got to think about that. Um, the deep sea, too thick. The Tudor is a no-fly zone. I wouldn't buy any Tudor. So, so far, I've seen almost nothing that I would buy and put on my wrist. Now, here we go. The Patek in the bottom left-hand corner there. If that were just yellow gold, that's a beauty. That's a beautiful dress watch beautiful dress watch but I would want yellow gold now white gold okay if you if you like you know white jewelry instead um, okay go for it but I would got I'd buy yellow and I'd never buy rose that would be a no a no um, a no fly zone for me um, let's keep going here and uh, here we have a Batgirl and a Pepsi. Either one of those would be fantastic. And I think they soften the lugs on those. Some people say, no, it's still the same super case and so on. I think they soften the lugs a little bit on that. I think they trimmed them a little bit. And I, and I know that that Jubilee bracelet makes them look a lot better, whether they trimmed them or not. So the optics are a lot better for those watches. So, yes, I would go for those. Um... What do you think about what do you think about this gold omega? I don't know which gold omega you're talking about. Um, oh, you put the number in there. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. How how easily easily I can pull that up. Um, two three two dot six three dot 
four two dot two one dot oh one dot oh oh one. Let's see if that comes up with that search. Um Seamaster Red Gold. See if that's it. I guess it's loading in. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I, again, I like just regular yellow gold, and it just looks a little bit bulky. It, I, I just, uh, some of the Omegas just look a little bit, I don't know, they just don't look that great. So for that kind of money, I would probably just go with a some kind of Rolex instead. Um, so again, that the only ones on this page that I would get. I'm sorry, the only ones on this page that I got. Did I show you that? Did I show that watch? There we go. Um, I don't know if I was showing it or not. That's the Omega in question. Yeah, I, that would be. I would kind of pass on that. Um, plus, I want it. I want a bracelet. That's just the way I fly is on a bracelet. Um, and again, on these watches, <clears throat> the Vacheron in the upper left, okay. I mean, but the, I don't like the way those lugs are kind of come come straight off the case. There's not they're not rounded into the case. I, I just like a more flowing case design for a dress watch. All the rest of them would be an absolute pass, no fly zone. They're just ugly. I just I don't buy ugly watches. Um, here we got uh, again no fly zone. Now the again the platinum day date be okay. Um, the rest of these uh, no. Uh, no. And again the busy Rolex there with the busy dial. I I don't need to go that direction. Uh, no, I don't need that that complication um, in my life right now. Um, Let's keep going here. Uh, are we seeing a lot of the same watches over and over again? What the heck is going on here? Does this guy just show all the same watches all the time? Same kind of style and same thing? Anyway, yeah, that, that, that no. No, 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 no. No Yacht Masters in there, no Datejusts, no Oyster Perpetuals, no Explorers. Uh, these are the watches I would buy. 18238. Hell yeah, an 18238. Or 118238. I like the brushed portions on the 18238. I think the 18238 is the, is the best buy in day dates. I think it's the sweet spot, as Archie Luxury would say. You get the most watch for the money with the 18238. The trick with those is you got to find one really in mint condition. You don't want to get one with bracelet stretch and stuff like that. You want to get one in mint condition that's been a safe queen, and then you're good to go. I wore mine for 19 years on a regular basis, and it held up fine. So they will hold up, but you don't want to get one that's been abused and that's got issues right out of the jump street, right? I mean, you want to buy one that's in really great shape. Thoughts on Tudor, 1926? I would pass on Tudor. I think there are a lot of better options out there to buy. Uh, so for me, a Tudor would be a no-fly zone. I would not get a tutor. Uh, let's go back to Brianna's thing and see where we are. I'm going to refresh live and see if we can get her to 100. I hate to be pestering you folks on this, re relentlessly pestering you, but sh we're stuck at 94. We're not making progress here, folks. We're stuck at 94 for a while. We just need six. We need six subs, folks. Come on. You know, stop thinking about watches just for a moment and think about somebody else. Think about helping this young lady out and go to briefitdance.com and click subscribe. I'm not, you know, I'm not begging for money like the other beg streams do. I'm just begging for a few seconds of your time to go and subscribe to her channel. Okay? Go to briefitdance.com and subscribe and we're good to go and we can get on to the watches and we won't have to worry about this. Craig, I asked a question and you ignored. Can you ask the question again? Maybe I missed it. I'm trying my best. Maybe I missed it. Go ahead and ask the question again. I don't ignore people. Uh, I own a 16234 
and a 16233 Craig. I want to add an 18238 men condition. Yeah, an 18238. Yeah, absolutely. The only reason I sold mine, and I've said this many times, is um, my eyes. I, it got to the point where that silver dial, it just, I was having trouble reading it in some lighting conditions without my glasses. And a lot of times I'm out and about and I'm not wearing my glasses, right? And so that's why I'm wearing this. It's super legible, super easy to read uh, under any circumstances, without my glasses, in the dark, anytime. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, and so that's really the only reason. Uh, brilliant. Thanks, Craig. I've watched a lot of your 18238 videos. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a stunning watch. Uh, let's, well, I had the photo up on it yesterday. We don't need to bring the photo up on, on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, and, and the thing about the 18238, the, yes, the center links in the present bracelet are hollow, but my experience was they held up fine. I think the key is you don't wear it loose on your wrist. You wear it, you know, comfortably snug, not tight, but, you know, so it doesn't jingle around a whole lot, right? That causes wear. And, and you keep it clean. You keep it relatively clean. So then you get dirt in there, you know, in, in, in the, where the pins are going through and all that. That's like sandpaper, right? So just keep it clean. And um, I think they hold up pretty good. Mine held up great. Mine was in great shape after 19 years of use. So um, I'm a big fan of the 18238. And see, it's going to be more comfortable on wrist because it is a little bit lighter weight than the 118238 because the 118 has the solid center links. Um, and I do like the brushed portions on the case, and then I just like the looks of the 18238 a little bit more than the uh, 118238. But, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. I do want the champagne dial. Fortunately, I have great eyesight. Well, there you go. Absolutely. Yeah, and you will until you get to be, you know, in your mid-40s into the early 50s that's when it starts going south craig should i buy a brand new snowflake sbga 211 or shall i get rolex over grand seiko please advise thanks are you going to be wearing it as a everyday all-arounder um and here's the thing the snowflake is a fantastic watch but it's got similar hands to this one with the, the pointy hands like that. And again, for me, the legibility of that watch wasn't as good as I would like it to be to use as an all-arounder. Um, now, if you find that watch to be legible, I would examine one in person and wear it and try it on and really examine it. And, and if you really like the legibility and if it's not too thick, it's a little thicker. It's thicker than a date just. I'm going to come right out and say it. It's thicker than a date just. It's thicker than an oyster perpetual. It's about 12 and a half mils, I think, thick. It's a little bit on the thick side to be using as a dress watch, in my opinion. And most people would probably work fine. It'll go underneath their cuffs. My wrists are a little bit big for the size shirts that I wear. And so for me, it's a little, it was a little snug. So that is the only real reason why I sold mine. And plus, the other thing, the, this is another issue, it does not have micro adjustments. So if that is an issue for you, that it doesn't have micro adjustments, that could be another deal killer on the Snowflake. Those things aside, the little bit of extra thickness, the lack of micro adjustments, the possible legibility issues, if those things don't bother you, it's a stunning watch, and it's super comfortable on wrist because of the titanium. And, you know, going to be just crazy accurate, crazy reliable. So, yeah, those are the things I would take into consideration. Um, if accuracy is not that important to you, a date just is hard to beat, or an oyster perpetual. Uh, I kind of like a watch without the date if I have my druthers. Um, you know, the Explorer, again, no date on there. Uh, that, that's just a great option. I think it's about 12 mils thick. Um, buy the very best 18238 you can find with mint bracelet. And then if you want to change the dial with Rolex, it's simple, fixed. 90% of them are champagne dial. 
uh, howdy folks um, where are the beautiful girls in the Rolexes we showed the beautiful girls earlier you came in late and by the way I think there I think you already subscribed to Bree's channel correct BreeFitDance.com and you click through and you subscribe to her YouTube channel I hope you did if you didn't we're trying to close up to 100 let's see where we are right now we're at 94 let me refresh we're at 95 we only need five folks we are five away come on we're so close we are so close there's Audrey by the way talk about beautiful girls there's Audrey um, come on we're so close let's get let's get um, let's get her to 100 okay so that I can stop begging this is a beg stream to try to get her to 100 likes uh, I think it's the least we can do. Let's go and let's let's check her out. There's BreeFitDance.com. And let's get her to 100 subs. Come on. We can get there. And she's a beautiful young lady, and this, this photo proves it. And it proves that if you take care of yourself and you exercise, you know, you can look fantastic. And I did no Photoshop on those curves. Those curves are all her, all natural, 100%. Brianna okay so you can look fantastic and these people that say oh it's unrealistic you know these models and all the these girls see these models and and it's unrealistic they can't look like them you know it's not natural and all that well this is 100% natural I didn't do any Photoshop those curves are all absolutely 100% natural I soften the skin a little bit on the face um, but that everything there is 100% natural, so it's absolutely doable if you eat right and take care of yourself and don't abuse your body. So there's my public service announcement. Uh, two more subs here. I do love Grand Seiko, beautiful finishing and handcraft. Oh, they're freaking amazing. Here, let's go close up of this one. pretty dusty I should have cleaned it off let me see if I can clean it off here um, shouldn't clean it with this cloth here <sighs> if I can get some of that dust off it at least I don't know if that worked it actually has to be cleaned it's been a while since I cleaned it let's see if we can do this again Hope you don't mind seeing it upside down there. I can take it off wrist and turn it around. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Okay, well, you're just in time to subscribe to Bree's, Brianna's uh, YouTube if you haven't already done it. We're trying to get her to 100 subs. We're within five. Here's the lovely Brianna. There's the website address, BreeFitDance.com. BreeFitDance.com. Just go there and let's get her to 100 so we can get her her custom URL. And then we can get back to watch talk. Watch talk. And this is the topic. I mean, does do fantastic watches like this and, and beautiful ladies, do they go together? I would opine that they do. Like I said, when I met Brianna, one of the things that she was enamored with was she saw this watch and she saw the second hand just smoothing around. And it kind of, it kind of mesmerized her kind of sort of hypnotized her a little bit and all of a sudden I just she couldn't control herself she started putting her hands all over me and you know it was almost abuse um, and it was because of this Grand Seiko spring drive stunner that she just kind of lost control of herself so what do you think about that do do these high end watches Rolex Grand Seiko Patek Philippe do they have that kind of an effect on extremely attractive females? Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, I have my SBGA229 on as we speak, going to rock it to a fancy restaurant for a filet dinner tonight, Pittsburgh-style medium rare. There you go. 
I, t- I still say, Durr, you should step up to the 231. Oh, don't say it's too lightweight and all that. It's fantastic, fantastic. And that little touch of gold, man, it's like the cat's meow. But the 229 is fantastic, too. Sorry if you answered this already. Opinion on solid gold subs slash GMT. Always go for the day date instead. Very good question. Um, <clears throat> here's the issue. I would only get the sub or GMT pre supercase because I don't like the supercase. So if you don't mind getting a sub, an 18 karat gold sub, pre ceramic, then yeah, I go for it. Absolutely. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's fantastic. Um, but I wouldn't buy one of the newer ones with the with the supercase. I'm just not a fan of the supercase. That's why the day date is so cool because they didn't screw up the case. The case is still gorgeous on it. And the day date is kind of more of an all arounder, really. It, you can really use it for everything. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with anything, right? It looks great. I mean, with dress purposes, a sub, okay, it'll work. It's cool. You know, I'll grant you that. But I think the day date is is a little little bit a little bit cooler, a little bit nicer, a little bit more elegant. So I would kind of go for the day date because now if you could buy the GMT for less money, like a gold GMT, an older one with like a Jubilee bracelet on it or something, and you could get it at a deal, probably I'd go for that. I would go for the GMT over the sub. It's a little bit thinner on wrist. So again, for an all arounder, that's a that's a, a a good situation. So yeah, I would probably go for the GMT if you could find a gold GMT <clears throat> uh, pre ceramic with the without the supercase uh, with a Jubilee. Uh, that would be pretty freaking cool. Um, let's see, uh, Craig. Do we need to give you emotional support? Absolutely, absolutely. I I need all the emotional support I can get understandable okay two more subs uh oh let me oh how did he do that let me you know, go refresh this how's carlos doing this he's the man refresh this and see where we are 97 come on we're three away folks three we are three away I'd like to have an extra one. I'd like to have 101 just so we have an extra just for emergency, just in case somebody drops out. But we are getting close, folks. This marathon, we are getting close. But day date is the one to get. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think... Um, let, let's check out Chrono 24. Let's check out a GMT with a Jubilee and gold. Let's see if we can find one. And see what's going on here. I hate, I really don't like using Chrono 24 because it's you search and you get a bunch of crap. You try to do a specific search and then they show you a bunch of stuff that doesn't um, match it. 18 karat um, see, I would like to say 18 karat, like all 18 karat gold, but it doesn't allow you to do that, I don't think. Let me see. Um, uh, let me see if I can find an older one. Here's one. Oh, shoot. Come on. Why does this crap get on there? Um here's one right out the bat right off the right right out of the chute we got lucky folks oh that bracelet looks screwed though look at the bracelet where at the bottom where it's going to the end link it, it looks it looks totally screwed up oh that's a shame um look at that this is straight up damaged had a real gap there uh, but look how gorgeous that case is you know you go pre supercase 
and I love the drilled case, especially on a gold watch like that, to have it have the drilled lugs. I mean, that's just so cool looking. So freaking tool watch looking. That is that is cool. But look at the doesn't the bracelet look screwed up there at the in the bottom there where it's where it's meeting the, the end link? Look at that hidden clasp jubilee. That is cool. How did they screw it up? They screwed it up. So yeah, I guess you'd have to find one of those that's not screwed up. And look how much they're asking for it. I mean again, you could get a day date for that. So, yeah, I mean, th that would be cool, though. If you could find a mint condition uh, GMT on a Jubilee, all gold, yeah. What do you think about the Rolex Date 8, uh, just 36 millimeter? It's fantastic. It's gorgeous. It always was gorgeous, and it still is. Don't pay attention to this big watch craze. Um, I think Date 8 should only be for presidents. <laughs> Craig isn't uh, isn't kidding. I wore my Spring Drive 229 to the bar the other night and had five girls all over me. Granted, I was at the strip club though, and they were dancers. <laughs> there you go. What do you think about the Rolex Datejust 36 millimeter? Do you think I will? Uh, do you think it will raise its price in a couple of years? They just 36 millimeter. Well, Rolex constantly has price increases, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, I mean, that's they've had price increases their their whole life, so I, I doubt they'll change that. By the way, speaking of stupid comments on a similar subject, let me see if I can refresh this page because <laughs> I had another stupid comment <laughs> yesterday, I think, um, on the fifth. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. <clears throat> he said, um, he said, no, you, you shouldn't skip it. You should buy a Rolex, which is a SVGS ACCT at worst, savings account is what he's saying, at worst, and an investment at best. Enjoy it. And if you get into a pinch or want something different, you can move it quickly and not lose money. Most people won't pay Rolex money for a GS. So again, uh, you know, this is one of the, the stupid things that is bandied about the forums and all these things. Hey, you know, if you get in a pinch, you can always sell your watch and get a plane ticket back home. Well, I carry cash for that. Okay. I carry cash for that. And by the way, if somebody mugged me and took my cash, they'd probably take the Rolex too. Okay? So if you're in that kind of a pinch, you probably wouldn't have the watch either. So, um, yeah. I, I think that's pretty far-fetched um, scenario. I wonder how many people have really been in a situation where they needed their Rolex and they needed to turn it into cash because they were in a pinch, right? If you're in that kind of a pinch, you probably shouldn't have bought the Rolex in the first place. If, if you don't have substantial savings and money set aside and liquid assets and so on and so forth, then you probably shouldn't have bought a Rolex. That would be my, um, my take on all of that. Uh, Uh, and, and if you're asking if the watch is going to go up in value, in other words, if it's going to be a good investment, no, watches are terrible investments. I would not count on that. I've got a whole video on that. I tried on a Snowflake and a Datejust 41, and while I like the Snowflake dial more, the Datejust 41 fit my wrist better. The Datejust 41 would be a great one-and-done luxury watch, classy and slim, yet humid and full-size. Well, see, that's the thing. It's thinner. The Datejust 41, I think, is just under... 12 mils, whereas the date chest is like 12.5 or 12.6 right around in there. So yeah, that that makes a difference. Well, you know, when it's thinner like that, it lays flatter on the wrist. So, um, but of course you're not going to get the accuracy of the spring drive and you're not going to be able to hypnotize you know, like you can with the uh, spring drive. Stretch galore, but it's nice case. 
<clears throat> yeah, that, that bracelet looked like it was abused or something. Some Something went on there. Uh, wow, it's stunning. Okay, I don't know which you're commenting on there. Uh, looks a little bent, maybe. Uh, yeah. People wear fake gold watches that most women think a real one is fake. Also, women know Rolex as a high-end watch, and they don't know anything else. Yeah, but it's hard to fake a, a, a 18 karat yellow gold Rolex. There's just something about the real ones, the color of them and everything. They just look right. The fakes just look like garbage. Um, you know, it, there. I'm sure there are a few fakes out there that look pretty good. And I've heard that there are a few fakes out there that are actually made of real gold. Uh, but that's few and far between. Most of them are plated and they look like crap. Um, so there's that. Um, Try wearing an 18 karat day date or an 18 karat sub or GMT. You you may have much different results. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing like a 18 karat yellow gold Rolex. <laughs> Amazing. It's about holding out for that safe queen. <laughs> there's always one out there for you. Yeah, buy a mint condition one owner. I would recommend you buy a one owner mint condition 18238. And pay the money for it. If you have to pay up a little extra for it, it's worth it. Oh, Rags, I doubt it. I guess I'll have to save my pennies. All Rolex will raise given time, but I don't consider my watches investments myself. You know, I hope it's a good thing you're, you don't. Okay, our Wags, let's put our predictions out there. How low do you think uh, Bitcoin's going to go? How low do you think it's going to go on this bear? I think we're in a bear market right now. I think we're we're we've pulled out of the um, the bull market. Uh, I think we're in a well, maybe we're not. Maybe we're still in the bull market. Maybe it's just a pullback. But how far do you think it's going to pull back, our wags? I'll give my prediction after you put your prediction in the chat. I'll give my prediction. It's about holding out. Okay, we read that. Um, Let's see. Check out the new Grand Seiko Godzilla edition. Yeah, I saw that. It's okay. I think we're all trying to play out the Dustin Hoffman scene in Marathon Man when he gives his GMT master to get a ride home <laughs> from the cabbie. Um, I just wonder if I pay 7500 for that watch today if this one has a higher retail price in 10 years. The special edition in blue, uh, or, or are you saying in blue or black? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about there. Are you talking, if you're still talking about a, a, a day chest, get, get, just get what you like, get what you want. And, and if you have to worry about what the value of the watch is after you purchase it, I would suggest that it might not be a good idea to purchase it. Because it's a luxury item, it should be just extra money for you, where you just buy, you're just treating yourself yourself to something nice. I will, Craig, and and I'll call in and show when I find that perfect 18238. Absolutely, do that. Call, Skype into the show and show us. Let's check on Bree's channel and see where she's up to. Let's check live. Let's do a refresh here, because come on, I got to wrap this show up here, folks. We got to get this to a hundred. We've got to get it to 100. We're at 96. We need four. Come on, folks. We just need four. There she is, Brianna, the lovely Brianna, Brie Fit Dance. She's a nice girl. Come on. She's working her way through college. She's trying to build up a YouTube channel. Uh, we've I helped her register the brand on all the platforms. We need to lock down a custom URL on YouTube for her, and we need she needs to have 100 subscribers to do that. So we just need a few more here. Come on. We need there's, there's 37 people watching right now. I guarantee you there's four of you that haven't subscribed yet. So just go do it now. Carlos got us like a half dozen of these. Um, so just go subscribe now. And so I'll stop. I'll stop pestering you about it. This is a beg stream. A few more here. We, this is the second beg stream we did on this subject. And I figured the first beg stream should have gotten the job done, right? But it didn't. And so we got to do it again. So let's go here and take a few more pictures here. There's briefitdance.com. Taken here at the estate. Taken here at the compound. 
And there's another one taken right here. And yes, she's 100% natural, 100% gorgeous, and 100% nice young lady. Very nice young lady. A pleasure to work with. A pleasure all the way around. And fantastic all the way around. So that's how that works. We just need a few more subscribers on her channel. Yes, we're talking about beautiful females and watches. Do they go together? Does a beautiful Rolex or Grand Seiko or Patek Philippe, does, it, does, does a beautiful young lady go with it? Does beautiful furnishings in your house, you know, nice clothing, does this all go together or is it all separate? What do you guys think about that? Um, our wags. I still have Bitcoin holding around where it is now. High 7,000s being support, 7,600 plus. I know you're very much more bearish than I am. Um, I'm going to call. I'm going to call the low on this rundown at about uh, 4,800. I'm going to call 4,800. But I'm going to also say that anybody out there that's a no coiner, that has no Bitcoin at all. <laughs> You might kick yourself. You might kick yourself later that you didn't buy at least one whole Bitcoin when it was under $10,000. You just might kick yourself at some point in the future. Your future self might say, why didn't I get myself at least one Bitcoin? You know, like when it's a million dollars, when it's worth like a million, right? And you didn't get one. So there you go. Um, you deserve the help for Bree. You answer our questions. Yeah, I think that, hey, it, we're not asking for much here. We're just asking for you to click through to BriefFitDance.com, click on the YouTube icon there, it's Biggest Day, and then click subscribe. That's all we're asking for you guys to do. We're not asking for much here. Um, and yeah, I call it the way I see it. And when you guys ask questions, I give you my opinions. I don't tell you what I think you want to hear or whatever. I tell you what, you know, what uh, I believe is true. And, uh, and it's based on 40 years of wearing Rolexes, usually a day date in rotation with a, um, a GMT. For a while there, I had the day date in rotation with a sub and for a while I had it in rotation with a Seamaster 120 Omega oh excuse me and the Omega was uh, was quartz <clears throat> and I have a video on my channel showing that watch I sold it a while back uh, but that that was a fantastic watch it sat nice and flat on the wrist it was about a 36 mil watch um, very comfortable but the, again the advantage to having a quartz watch in rotation like this 9F here on screen now is I can let that sit there for three days five days it's still running fine still keeping perfect time and then when I go I need to grab it I can put it on and go I don't have to worry about it I'm to the stage in life where I don't have I don't want things that I have to worry about and somebody's gonna say look it's not even hitting the hash marks that's the camera angle folks if you keep watching it as it goes around, it's going to start hitting the hash marks at some point. This is the camera angle. See there as it's getting close? Right there, it's hitting the hash mark. See? Because it's a question of the camera angle. But anyway, it's nice to have a, a watch like that that you can grab and go, and you just know it's spot on. This one I've been wearing most of the time just because it's super legible, and it's been summertime, right? When I start wearing the long sleeve dress shirts, I'm going to need something trimmer, and that's where this one comes in. It's only a 39 mil watch, and it's 12 mils thick. So it's a perfect size for me to push into a dress type scenario. Whereas this one at 44 mils and about 14 mils thick, no way. No way I'm going to wear this as a dress. I think it looks silly to wear a big sport watch like this as a dress watch. People do it. I think it looks silly. I think even a sub is pushing your luck, uh, even though it's you know a little over 12 mils thick, I think. Um, who here all is going to a little treasure event? We should all meet up for drinks the night before. Durr. Um, is Steve going to figure something out? Isn't he going to entertain? He usually does. So um, 
I'm going to be there on Friday. I'm, I'm not going to be there Thursday night. I'm going to be there Friday. I don't know if I'm going to be there Saturday. Saturday is going to depend on the weather. If the weather's really nice, I'll probably go to the Rockville Car Show. I, I missed it last year because of Steve's event. And I usually, I, for like 30 years, I went every year. Um, and I missed it. Uh, so I may go to that. And there's another event that I'm actually supposed to go to. There's two events I'm supposed to go to. Uh, 98 subs. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Come on, folks. We need to get her to 100. I want to get her to 100 because we're meeting later, and I'd like to do this. I'd like to get her locked down on this custom URL, and uh, I'd like to have something to celebrate. So 98 subs. We're two away. We're so close, folks. We got 34. Let me refresh this, see how many people we got actually watching. We got 33 watching. <clears throat> There's got to be two or three of you all. I'd like to have one extra. I'd like to have 101. There's got to be two or three of you all that are not subbed yet that can sub, and we can get this over the, the, the mark. And we shouldn't force Carlos to get all the subs for us. He's gotten like a half dozen of these or something. I mean, it's, I don't know how he does it. He's, he's, he's got pull. I used to have an Omega 120 quartz and two-tone. It was a great watch. Yeah, and you can buy them reasonable. 99. <laughs> wow. Um, you can buy them reasonable on, um, on uh, you know, most of the websites. On eBay, they're around. Mine was all steel. Oh, 100. We just hit 100. Okay, listen, I want to have a little bit of a safety zone. I want to have a little bit of a safety zone so that we can um, be sure to get her her custom URL. Um, so if we could get one more, one more, uh, that would be fantastic. Um, I'm going to text her right now that she's got 100. I'm going to let her know that she's at 100. And um, if we could get to like 101, I'd like to get one safety valve in there. Uh, 101 here, too. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Wait, it says, she's talking about the temperature? Uh-oh, we're at 98. We lost two. What the hell happened? I just told her we were at 100. Now we're at 98. Did two people unsubscribe? Oh my goodness, what the hell happened? That's terrible. Come on, what's going on here, folks? Are you all playing games? We're at 98 subscribers, and I just told her she was at 100. Darn it. I'm just going to have to tell her it just dropped. It just dropped to 98. Mm, darn it. Oh, well. Um, I don't know what you guys are doing there. I was going to get her to try to do the custom URL while we're alive, but we can't do it now. It's at 98. 98 subscribers. That's a letdown. I can't believe somebody unsubscribed. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, boy. She says, I'm glad either way. She's such a nice girl. And I can't believe somebody unsubscribed. Holy freaking cow. Ah. We need to get it. She says, so close. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Come on. Help the girl out. Can you see, I mean, how nice is she? she? She's so, so kind. She says, I'm glad either way. So close. I mean, if your heart doesn't go out to that young lady, then you're just, I don't know what's wrong with some people. I just don't know what's wrong with some people.
I really don't. I mean, it's just, it's mind-boggling to me how people could be that freaking nasty, how people could give her, now we're back to 101, but I don't know if it's going to stay at 101. I mean, I, now I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to ask her, can you guys just be cool for just a second? I'm going to see if she can do it now, if she's got, if she's at her computer. Um, um. Uh, it's back at, uh, 101. Can you try and get the URL now? See what she says. I don't know if she's at her computer. I think she's. I think she's not at her computer right now. Um, <clears throat> I think she's on her way home, and she's going to be coming over here later. But um, I think she's. I don't think she can do it on the phone. Now we're at a hundred. Man, you guys are unbelievable. I, I'm just really flabbergasted at why somebody would unsubscribe. I mean, here we are trying to help this girl out. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. Uh, give me her link. I'll get 50 odd in the next few minutes. The, I just told you the link. It's briefitdance.com and just click on the big icon. Uh, see, briefitdance.com. If you go there, briefitdance.com and then click on the YouTube icon. I'll put it in the chat. Um, I it's, it's just the 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 um it's, uh, the people are so juvenile. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna subscribe and then I'll unsubscribe. You know, I'll I'll get her. You know, I mean. It's just, why in the hell would anybody do that? I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just, um, see, she just texted me. It's at 99. I mean, this is what you're doing to this girl, okay? Are you happy? Are, are you happy with that? Does, is somebody happy with that? I'm just, I'm just befuddled. I'm just befuddled. I think I'm just going to, uh, you know, probably this might be my last broadcast. Um, I'm just so, so tired of these trolls. I just don't want to associate with them. And the problem is there's a bunch of good people. There's a bunch of good people out there. And if I stop doing broadcasts, that's not going to help them. Um, so... Let's let's do this. Let, let's do this. Let's let's. I'm gonna wait until we get her up to 105, so we have a cushion. Maybe we can get a cushion big enough to to counteract the trolls. Let's do that. Let's let's take the high road here and let's say let's get her some extra subscribers, um. so that she can get enough to um, to uh, combat the trolls. Let's do this. I'm announcing to the to the good people that are still watching. There's 32 live viewers. Those of you that are that are legitimately good people, legitimately good people. Please go to briefitdance.com right now and subscribe to her. Right now. Go to briefitdance.com and subscribe so that we can beat these trolls all right we can beat these trolls that's what i want to do i want to i want to soundly beat these idiots that would do something like that that would go there and subscribe and then unsubscribe just to screw around with this girl just to try to cause trouble 
you know I want to combat them I want to see if we have enough decent people right now watching this show non-trolls that just straight up want to help this girl that want to go to briefitdance.com and subscribe okay so that we can let's get her up to 105 subscribers so she's got a little cushion to combat these trolls we're at 101 that's not enough we were at 101 a little while ago and then it dropped to 98 because some trolls um, yeah those of you that have already subscribed don't, yeah don't click on subscribe because that'll unsubscribe um, you know just go there if you have not subscribed and please subscribe there's the URL to go to that's Brianna go to briefitdance.com um, and see what you can do I'm just telling her right now it's 101 but who knows who knows who knows if it'll stay there uh, briefitdance.com let's get it up to 105 so she's got a little bit of a cushion okay I mean this is bizarre that I even have to ask this um, I'm refreshing now we're down to 99 oh boy Craig, make a video with her showing some watches. Promote her channel in the vid and then post it on some Facebook watch pages. She'll get 100 plus subs, no problem. I, I'm going to get her plenty of subs later on. I, I know how to get her subs, okay? All I'm trying to do right now is get her to 100 so we can get the custom URL right now, okay? And you've got idiots on here that are screwing around with her that are subscribing and then unsubscribing because they think it's funny they're in their mom's basement right eating Cheetos and they're screwing around with this girl who's a mover and shaker who's making things happen making positive things happen they're screwing around with her and this is just this is just really despicable that somebody would do that just because they can I'm just I'm just beside myself right now. We got 36 people watching this show. We can't get five more subscribers out of those people. We can't get five more legitimate subscribers that aren't going to unsubscribe because they can, because they're going to screw around with this girl. I mean, I just I'm I'm just beside myself. I'm beside myself. Yes, we will get her to 100. Yes, there are other ways I'll be able to get her to 100. But right now I'm asking you all. I'm asking the people that are watching now to take a few seconds and go to briefitdance.com and subscribe to her channel. What Am I asking for a lot? Let me know in the chat if you think I'm asking for a lot here. I don't generally ask you people for anything. I don't ask for super chats right some could some good people should just make some accounts and sub to her so easy and Craig I think she is above 100 subs so she could check the settings you know she is actually love, lovely looking um, stubbed ages ago subbed ages ago yeah well thank you I, and, and thank you for those who have subbed I'm not talking to the people who I'm not talking about the people that have subbed and that have remained subs. I'm talking to the few trolls that are that that click sub and then and then wait a little while and then click unsubscribe when I'm telling her that she's got her hundred and then they unsubscribe so it goes down to ninety nine so it makes me a liar, right? They're just screwing around, right? They're playing a little game, a little whack a mo game, right? Those are the people I'm talking to. And, and I, I tell you right now, I really don't want you watching this show, this channel. I'd really rather you move on if you're going to be a nasty troll like that. Go watch Archie's shows. He loves the trolls. He embraces them. Clivester, he embraces them. I think the Mark guy, the dog man, I think he loves trolls. There's plenty of watch channels. And this, by the way, is not a watch channel. This is a lifestyle channel where we just talk about all kinds of things. We talk about watches, but we talk about a lot of things. There are a bunch of channels you can go to and, and take that nasty troll crap with you. So, 
um, my wife understood it and subscribed. The ones from all the, the grinders, she's uh, okay. Uh, they're eating baked, no name brand Dorito ripoff chips in their mom's basement. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that is sad. That is freaking sad. Um, let me see what she's at right now. 101. I don't know if it'll stay, though. I don't know if it'll stay there. I want 105 to be safe. And this is so sad that I even have to say we want a buffer to be safe. This is so sad um, that I even have to go there. Right? I mean, it's just, it's it's bordering on pathetic. Um, I'm going to end the stream here pretty soon. Um, thank you profusely for those who have subscribed and not unsubscribed for those who have subscribed and left their subscribe their subscription there like any normal human being would do but shame on the nasty freaking trolls that would screw around with this girl by subscribing and 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 then unsubscribing just kind of screwing around with her shame on you Carlos is busting his butt to get a bunch of subscribers for Brianna and and then we've got these idiots that are unsubscribing in the process and screwing around with things so I will ask one more time Anybody that's watching that has not subscribed to her channel yet, I'm not asking for a whole lot here, folks. Go to BriefFitDance.com, BriefFitDance.com. Click on the YouTube icon, and please subscribe to her channel. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, ask her if she can. Um, that's at 100. It just dropped down to 100. That is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We were at 102, and I refreshed, and we're down to 100. Who in the hell would do that? I know I'm repeating myself, but why would somebody do that? Why on earth? Is it just because they want me to keep bitching about? It? I mean, they're just that that they're that kind of a nasty freaking troll. I have, two, I have two accounts subscribed. When is the new content coming? She's going to be uploading a new video here pretty soon, maybe even tonight. We shot some stuff yesterday, and she hasn't uploaded it there yet, but she's going to. I put a new video up on my channel already, so you can check that out. Um, so new content is on the way. A bunch of photos are up on my Flickr and she's been putting some photos up. There's some new photos on, on BriefFitDance.com. So there is new content coming up. Uh, so we're working on that. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what to say at this point. I mean, uh, yeah. Let me find my wealth, wife, and I will get you another subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I mean we got this is sad that we've got loyal viewers that are having to go out of their way to counteract to counteract these trolls so I'm going to leave it at that um, let me just check one more time here where she is and I, I you know I, I gave it the old college try, but uh, this is this is a game of whack-a-mo. This is a game of whack-a-mo where we can't win. How old is Bree? She's 19, um, and I didn't ask her mom how old she is. I think that's not really appropriate <laughs> uh, to ask a woman her age, uh, but she's extremely attractive, her mom. Uh, so I would guess she was relatively young when she had Brianna. So if I had to guess, maybe she's 38. I, that would be a guess because she looks young. She's extremely attractive. Um, so obviously her mom uh, takes care of herself as well. So they both take care of themselves, which is a big plus. 
Um, I'm going to wrap it up. I, I, I wish we could have, you know, it would have been so much nicer if we could have just celebrated together this working together, coming together, making this effort, and getting her the subscribers. And we could just do a clean celebration, you know, without this nastiness enter, entering the picture, right? Without these people just wanting to screw around with, this, with the situation. It would, it would have been so much nicer. But still, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for those who did take the time and effort to subscribe. And um, let me just see. I don't know if, if she can. Uh, yeah. Can you try now? I'm going to see. I don't know if she has her computer. She has to do it on her computer. She can't do it on her phone. Um, I would like to see if she could actually do it, actually get the URL while she's over 100. Um, uh, it would be nice to see. Now it's at 100. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Freaking kids, freaking babies, you know. Babies with freaking diapers in their basement. I wish they would just unsubscribe and just stay unsubscribed, you know. Just go the freaking hell away. Just go away. Um, that, would, that would be better than, than screwing around. That would be that would be a lot better than than doing what you're doing. Just go the hell away. Who is doing it, I, John? We don't know. We don't know who's doing it. There's some trolls in here that are subscribing to her channel and then they unsubscribe just to screw around. And and who knows why they're doing it? Who knows why trolls do half of what they're doing? They're sitting there laughing. They think it's funny. They're in the basement, you know, of their their mom's basement. And see, it's at 99 now. So they're doing that just because they're, they're, they're jerkwads, right? They're freaking jerkwads. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this up. I'm very disappointed. And... Um, it's probably going to be a while before I do another broadcast. I am very, very disappointed. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm also, quite frankly, disappointed that we've got 33 people watching right now. And we can't squeeze out another five subs to counteract these idiots. Why can't we squeeze out another five subs from the 33 people that are watching now so that we can neuter these these uh, idiots because it seems to only be a few of them because we're going from about 101 to 99 98 ish you know there's it's it's only a few of these trolls that are really screwing with us right now so if we could just get a few more people to subscribe then that would neuter them right don't let stress don't let them stress you Craig they don't really stress me that much they just they just piss me off and they just disappoint me I mean I'll be fine you know uh, it's not going to affect my world I mean I'll be fine I assume everyone in this room is subscribed no I'm sure no no I'm sure there's a lot of people in this in in here right now that have not subscribed um if for whatever reason you know, I mean, I, some people said I don't want to subscribe to her channel because my my wife will get mad. I can I can understand that. <laughs> I can understand that. I mean, you can't explain it to the wife, right? You can't go to her and say, "Well, I just no, I subscribe to this beautiful girl's YouTube channel because I'm just helping out a friend." I mean, <laughs> that's not going to fly, <laughs> right? So, I can understand some men that are afraid of their wife that didn't subscribe that are here in the in here and and then there's other people that are just too lazy that are just they just don't want to bother you know they, they 
they don't want to bother going to uh, briefitlive.com and subscribing. They just don't want to bother. <laughs> uh, give us two minutes. I'll sort it out. How are you going to sort it out? <clears throat> My wife just subscribed. Went up to 101 and now it's 98. <laughs> um, all right, let me see what it is now. Let me refresh live. <clears throat> 98. Yeah, see, it's it's there's several trolls that are just kind of screwing around. And there might have been a troll. You know, some of these trolls have a bunch of accounts. So it might be one troll that has like five accounts or something that is screwing around, that is, you know, subscribing and unsubscribing with various accounts. Um, Kyle says she's over 100 now. Um, no, she's at 98, the last refresh. She's at 98. So some of the trolls pulled back their subscription. So we need we need a bunch more subscribers, folks, in order to get a cushion here because these guys, these strolls think it's funny to keep knocking her down uh, below 100. Uh, they think it's funny. So the only way we can combat this is if, um, is if we get her more. Um, uh, um, she just said she's going to try now, um, and now I got to tell her it's down again. You know, this is just really sad. Um, I think there's more than a couple of trolls. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the number is fluctuating about. Now it's at 99. It's about three or three or four, one direction or the other is what it's doing. Now there, some of those trolls might um, have multiple accounts. Like I said, told that he can get a bunch of subs quite fast. Um, yeah, but I don't see it. I don't see it happening here. Yeah, we've been told a lot of things, but. Um, uh, I'm going to ask her if she can call. I want to explain to her. Um, I'm going to explain to her what's happening if she can call. I don't know. I, she might be at work. I don't think she's left work yet. Um, Apple Card, Titanium, Apple Card. They're free. Did I say they're free? And it's Titanium. Super strong. Super cool. No card number on it, no card number on it, and no expiration date on it. Okay? I unsubscribed by accident for a second, but just resubscribed. Yeah, if somebody did that by accident, that's I understand that. I understand somebody going there thinking they're subscribing, and then but they unsubscribe. But we're, so we're still at 99. We're still not at 100. So, um, so that's the issue is we, we, you know, we got to get a cushion here. We got to get about five new, maybe we need 10 new subscribers. We've got 43 people watching right now. And some of those people are new. We only had about 33, five minutes ago. So some people have come in. Um, we need some more subs. What we're trying to do for the new people that have come in, we're trying to get Brianna over, 100 subs on her YouTube channel just so we can get her a custom URL. If you go to briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com and click on click on the YouTube icon and then click subscribe. We need about 5 more folks. We need need about 5 more uh to get her a cushion here because they the trolls keep knocking it under 100. They, they keep unsubscribing so that they can get her under 100. So we've got to combat the trolls by getting some extra. And 101 ain't, ain't enough. I hate to be the one to say because the trolls have knocked it down from 101 several times. Here, here it is. Let's refresh. 
there's 101 but you know we'll probably check in another 30 seconds and it'll be back down to 99 again let's go back here to um didn't mean to show that why that is a cool watch though um so briefitdance.com that's where we go briefitdance.com keep jumping we support you <laughs> carlos in the house um so <clears throat> I would feel a lot more com my wife subscribed to help the shipster. No explanation needed. I think Archie's crew has invaded your streams. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's 42 people in here. I would think that some of them would be willing to take one for the team here and support this young lady and go and subscribe to her channel. Am I asking for too much? Hello from Ireland. We got somebody from Ireland. Can we get a subscriber from Ireland? Let's get this up to 105. Let's get a cushion here so that we can we can feel a little safer. Let me refresh. Let's 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 really screw these trolls over. We got 103. Let's get it up to like 105 minimum to really screw these trolls over. What do you guys think? Let's let's hit them. Let's hit them square in the teeth with 105 with 105 subscribers even with their screwing around let's just knock them to the curb what do you think because most of the punks have been blocked from this channel I don't understand how they're getting in here that easy but the most of the punks have been blocked um, does Bree have a Rolex or a GS if it's a tutor, we'll all unsubscribe. No, she, you will not see her wearing a tutor. I think I'm going to buy a, uh, a GS for her. She's going to be at the um, event, on, uh, at Steve's event, on the Friday that I'm going to be there. And um, I think I'm going to hook her up with a, uh, with a GS, with a Grand Seiko. What do you guys think about that? You think she should have a Grand Seiko? Let me, uh, um, I'm trying, but I'm still ineligible. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, it says she's ineligible. Now it says 102 subscribers. We went from 103 to 102. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, Okay, she said she tried, but it still says ineligible. Um, I don't. I wonder if she has to have a hundred subs for like a day or something. I wonder if it has a settling in period. I mean, it's been a long time since I've gone through this procedure. Um, I thought it was a hundred subs. Uh, and then how it says a hundred. This is this is incredible, folks. I just I this is incredible. This is this is this is just uh, yeah, people are just screwing around at this point. So yeah, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to do a quick Google search though, and see what they say. Um number of subs of subs for a custom URL on YouTube. Um, okay, she sent me a screen grab here. Um, have 100 or more subs be at least, at least 30 days old. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a moot point. Yeah. She's got it. The, the account's not 30 days old. So, yeah, she can't get it. Um, uh, let's see. Why don't you get her on your channel and get her talking horology? She's going to talk her. She's going to be doing some shows. She's going to be doing some shows from, from Little Treasury. Um, she's going to do some stuff, but we got to wait now. So it's a 30 day wait. So it's not, it, she'll be at like 300 subs by then. So it's a non issue. I didn't know it was 30 days. 
and um, uh, and 100 subs. So we have to wait uh, to wait. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. So that's that solves that problem. So it's a 30-day wait. Um, uh, let's see if it says that on. Um, let's see if it says that here. Yeah, your challenge. You need to have 100 or more subs. Be at least 30 days old. Yeah. So that's it. That's the that's the rub. Why she can't get it right this minute is she's got to wait until 30 days and she hasn't been we just created this the other day so she's got to wait a while it's down to 98 <laughs> doesn't it's a moot point because we'll get her well over 100 um we'll get her get her well over 100 by 30 days from now so that's a non-issue okay so thank you for those who did subscribe those who are trolling can go straight to you know where down down below because that's where trolls deserve to be. They're nasty people. They're negative, nasty people. Life is too short to hang around with a bunch of negative, nasty people. So, um, she says, it's okay, I can wait. She is so nice. She's such a nice, nice girl. All right, we're going to wrap this puppy up. Oh, got to do it on my phone. <clears throat> and I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go eat a nice dinner. And all the trolls can stay in the basement. And they can, uh, they can, I'll tell you what, trolls. Why don't you all go ahead and raid your mom's uh, refrigerator. Go ahead and raid your mom's refrigerator and celebrate that you, you know, you tried to screw around with this, this young lady. <laughs> And uh, that's as close as you're going to get to screwing around with a young lady like her, too, by the way, is screwing around with her YouTube channel like that because you'll never spend any time with her in person and or anyone like her because you're a total freaking loser. So that's how that works. So thanks, everybody, for who is not a loser, all my regulars. And sorry about the rant and all that, but I'm just not uh, enamored with these these nasty people. Until next time, and I don't know when that will be, but until next time, try to do the right thing once or twice. <laughs>